Hey guys, Mike from Fortinet Guru here. Going to go over some information on 40OS 5.6 Beta 2. Um, this is the next iteration of 40OS. Uh, 5.4 is going to be mostly bug fixes from this point on. So the features that exist in 5.4 as is, that's pretty much going to be what you get. Um, all the new cool stuff is going to be in 5.6 while they flesh out 5.4 and make it smoother and more um, reliable and less buggy. So um, 5.6 Beta 2 brings in some cool stuff. They redesigned the dashboard, changed the way it looks and everything. Um, you know, you got different list of widgets and things like that. So you can mess around with it and do what you do. Um, they altered some things on the uh, 40 view. It gives you a little bit more capability from like, you know, endpoint vulnerabilities and some views and a little bit better display of information that they give you. Um, the security fabric is improving steadily. It's going to be a really big factor, factor, especially for environments that are Fortinet only. So. If you have a four to gate that feeds four to switches that then feed four to APs, the visibility that your environment is going to have is going to be incredible. Um, so that's pretty cool stuff, and you know it it feeds into this whole shebang. So um, one of the things that this version of 40 OS brings on it's really really rudimentary right now it's not fleshed out it doesn't work well yet but it's it's moving that way so once 5.6 finally hits GA I think it's gonna be really really awesome is the NGFW style policy so basically the way a 40 gate works now you know you create your application sensors your your IPS sensors and all that jazz, you create your normal policy. It's just a basic firewall policy, source destination service, and you apply those sensors to it. That's fine and dandy, you know, 10 years ago, but one of the things that Palo Alto Networks has really jumped ahead on was their ability to define the application within the policy. So Fortinet's working to bring that to 40 OS, and it's going to really make an already awesome bank per buck product even better because Palo is just more expensive. Um, so in order to implement the NGFW firewall policy setup, you basically, you come in here under, um, system and settings, you have to be in flow based to be able to do this. Cause if you go proxy based, you don't have the option. And then you have the, when you're flow based, you have the option of policy mode standard, which is your old school, you know, you create your sensors, apply it to a p policy. And then you have NGFW, which will be more for your border, um, including your application within the policy itself. So here's a list of just some basic policies I have on my house gate right now. Um, as you can see, I've already started working this a little bit. I created a policy specifically for Skype. And as you can see, you know, policy name, Skype out, source destination, you know, my local land to all, all the time for any service in the application, Skype. So basically the way you do this is, you know, you got to create new for a policy. Let's say you wanted to create a policy for Hulu. So, you, you know, you name it accordingly so you can keep up with your junk. You know, standardization and documentation are key. Your source and destination interfaces. And then, of course, your source and destination addresses. Um, for this particular one, I'm just going to leave it to all. And then for my application, this is where it gets cool. Instead of having to apply a sensor, I have a list of over 2,000 applications already in here. Or even better, you could just do, you know, application category. But I want to specifically allow Hulu. So I'll collect the three services or applications that are tied to Hulu and accept it. Another cool thing is, along with application, you can also do web filtering this way. Um, so for instance, once they flesh this out a little bit better, you can create a web blocks policy at the very top and include all the crummy ones that you don't want, like, you know, gambling or alcohol. Obviously, we want to keep, you know, the lingerie and swimsuit. 
I mean, why would we be like that? But I digress. So this one's going to allow Hulu. We're not going to deal with URL category because this is just specifically for app control. And then we click OK. And now I have my policy that I can bring up here specifically for Hulu. So much better. This is going to provide the ability to get as granular as you want within your policy instead of having the option of applying a you know just an application sensor that has to have more of a blanket approach versus a very specific approach so if uh, you know the major difference and if you read my site the I have a page titled where for and it's going wrong and this is my number one gripe I've been submitting a feature request based around this process for the past three and a half years and I guess I'm not the only one because they're finally doing it so very cool stuff it's going to give us a lot of awesome awesome capabilities um, there are some bugs right now for instance if you were to create a web block policy at the very top it's going to block all your traffic because it has to allow the traffic to flow just a little bit to find out who it is and where it's going so that's um that's something that they're working on until then so but all in all it's a huge step in the right direction I'm very excited for Fortinet to be doing this and um, I'm extremely excited from an engineer standpoint to have this level of granularity and functionality uh, the one thing I always lost the Palo on was well we want the granularity to be able to you know do the application within our policy itself so I can have Joe Smith be able to get the Skype but no one else because that's the only rule that allows Skype out things like that so Kudos to Fortinet. Um, hopefully it works out well. I'm very excited to see more iterations of the 5.6 beta. And hopefully, you know, they get the kinks worked out and we're able to take it to GA soon. So uh, thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Thank you.